Laura. I'm the president and CEO of Galvanized Labs. And I'm Dyson, the COO of Galvanized Labs and lead game designer of our new production, Taken Charge. Taken Charge is a browser-based technology education video game. It is very unique in this genre, as it brings fully educationally validated curriculum and teaching methods via game-based learning, while at the same time offering players a high-quality and very engaging gaming experience. The Take in Charge curriculum focuses on building the foundation for quality, long-term technology education, the building blocks. Before students attempt advanced technology topics like coding and game design, they must first learn and master the basics, the fundamentals. In school, they don't start a student's math education with long division. They start with numbers, then counting, then addition, subtraction, and so on. Progressive learning. Why should it be any different with technology? And that's exactly how Take in Charge teaches. Take in Charge teaches those technology topics that come before coding. We then take those beginner topics and build on them. For example, when a student has a baseline understanding of how the internet works, it's easier for them to more thoroughly grasp topics like Boolean search logic, networking, internet safety and protection, and cyberbullying. In Take in Charge, we're building knowledge, not just distributing curriculum. This style of progressive learning puts a strong emphasis on problem solving and critical thinking. Now, we get asked all the time, why these topics? And the answer is pretty simple. It's about getting students interested in technology as a subject, and more importantly, keeping them interested. Most of the members of the Galvanized Labs team spent the better part of the last decade teaching technology to youth students around the country. While most kids are comfortable with technology products, they are not, however, very comfortable with technology education and can become easily frustrated and ultimately walk away from tech ed, especially when they encounter a topic they consider too advanced or that they are simply not ready for. With our extensive field experience, we found that starting with the basics and more slowly and deliberately building their technology knowledge increased not only the students' enjoyment and satisfaction with technology education, but also increase their desire to continue their technology education. And that, of course, is a long-term goal of any quality tech ed program. Another important aspect of the Take in Charge curriculum is its educational validation. Galvanized Labs partnered with ISTE, the International Society for Technology and Education, to validate not only our game's technology curriculum, but also its teaching effectiveness. ISTE is the creator and governing body of the definitive education technology standards. The ISTE seal of alignment signifies a program's alignment with ISTE's rigorous standards for learning and teaching with technology. Taken Charge is the first and only video game to ever receive a seal and such technology education validation. As we mentioned before, Taken Charge is a browser-based video game. The only thing that a player needs in order to play the game is an internet connection, a web browser, and a fourth grade reading level. If you have those three things, you're ready to get started. You've seen the number of technology subjects that will be taught within Take in Charge. 17 different technology subjects to be exact. So as you can imagine, the game is quite large. Playing Take in Charge from beginning to end can take the average player anywhere from 14 to 18 hours and consists of 49 unique levels. The game follows the story of our three main characters, the siblings Siri, Adele, and Sunny. In the opening cinematic of our game, the player learns that a mysterious bad guy has stolen the sibling's dog, who of course is named Charge. The progression of our game follows the story of our characters as they embark upon an adventure to get their dog back. During the game, the player will have a chance to play as each of the three different main characters. Take in Charge offers players three different level types that they will interact with. We'll break them down for you. First is known as the player-initiated conversation, or PIC. Player-initiated conversation levels are important for several reasons. First, they will assist the player in finding out what's happening in the storyline and what they need to do next with their character to continue their journey to rescue Charge. This is also where a lot of learning takes place. During these conversations between characters, players will be learning about the technology topic that they will be encountering in the next several levels. These conversations give players the baseline knowledge they will need for the technology topic at hand. The next type of level is known as the side-scrolling level. Now, there's a lot going on in these side-scrolling levels. So first, we'll discuss how they contribute to the learning component of the game, and then we'll revisit their many other features. Most of Taken Charge's side-scrolling levels are designed to reinforce and expand on the knowledge that the player obtained in the previous player-initiated conversation. But as you can see, there's a lot more going on in these side-scrolling levels than just learning. This is where a lot of the action of the game takes place as well. 
In these levels, the player will get to exercise their gamer muscles and show off their moves with spectacular jumps over death pits, using jump pads to reach higher platforms, and avoid run-ins with minions that will send your character back to the previous save point. The third and final type of level offered within Take in Charge is arguably the most important, the mini-game assessment. Validating learning is one of the most significant features within the game. Not only are we teaching technology subjects and skill sets, the game is also able to validate and provide proof of successful learning. This is crucial to the ultimate success of the student, as well as to the progressive learning model that is utilized by Take in Charge. By stopping throughout the game to validate learning, we confirm that each student only progresses through the game when they can proficiently demonstrate understanding of each topic before moving on to a more advanced topic. Assessments can put a real damper on fun, so Take in Charge presents assessments via minigame. There are over 20 different minigame assessments within Take in Charge. Each minigame tests the knowledge that the player has learned over the previous two to five levels. There are numerous other assessments and levels like the previous few you just saw that make up the entire Take in Charge game. Through character conversations, entertaining and engaging side-scrolling gameplay, and a variety of minigames, it is no wonder that ISTE granted Take in Charge with the first seal of alignment for teaching and evaluating tech ed standards within a video game. Thanks for watching our gameplay walkthrough of Take in Charge. If you would like to continue the conversation and learn more about Take in Charge, visit us at the Take in Charge website, takeinchargegame.com, or reach out to the Galvanized Labs team at info at galvanizedlabs.com, or on Facebook and Twitter.